everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and I am working on a junk mail envelope, junk journal that you want to see. So I'm gonna use these large envelopes, the ones that like maybe your insurance company or AT&T or one of those sends to you. And I'm gonna use only two, so you only need to save two. And I'm gonna use um, coffee dyed paper in the center and use some papers from Vintage Diaries to decorate the outside and inside. It's gonna be a really simple junk mail, junk envelope, junk journal, junk mail envelope, junk journal. Anyway, it's gonna be a very simple one and one that you would probably really enjoy. And then you can decorate the pages however you want to or just write in them. So let's just jump right in. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I invite you to subscribe, comment, share below. Let me know if you've tried this uh, type of junk mail envelope junk journal. And um, let's give it a whirl. Thanks so much. Let's get started. I get so excited when I get to craft and I just get excited and that's why I said, let's get started. Anyway, all right. Um, you're going to need for this particular junk journal out of junk mail envelopes, you're going to need the large size. These are about six by nine and a half. And of course you can make it any size you want, but this is what we're going to do. So I've picked two out that are pretty good. As you can see, I didn't open them really well. This one I did pretty okay, but this one I just didn't. And so what I need to do is make a flap <clears throat> so that I can glue these together like this, okay? So what I need is a, just a piece of paper that's gonna fit inside here and uh, will glue inside here. So whatever size you're using, just get um, any kind of paper. You're not gonna be able to see it, so just a copy paper and cut it to the size that will fit inside both envelopes. I took some copy paper, just plain old copy paper, and I cut a three inch by eight and a half inch um, piece. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue this in here to this and then catch this flap. And then I'm gonna take that and glue it inside this envelope here. I'm gonna use uh, the Colal alcohol-based glue. Uh, I like it because it doesn't uh, seep into the paper. It will dry hard and it will be a good adhere, um, adhering to the paper. So I've already glued part of my copy paper piece that I've um, pulled out. So what will happen, cut out, what will happen is I'll take this piece and glue it inside my other envelope and then my envelope will fold over. So I'm going to go to this other side. I want to make sure that this part of the flap is glued down and then I'm going to glue this side and slide it inside the other envelope. Really easy to do. You don't have to do them a certain way, front or back. It's gonna be covered up anyway. But you do wanna make sure that your envelopes meet at the seams, like here. It will fold like that. So now you have the makings of your journal. Now all you need to do is, if you're going to do vintage, which I'm going vintage here, this is from Vintage Diaries by Sara Davies. I'm going to take some of this brown uh, ink and a blending tool and just go around the edges before I adhere it. So you just go around the edges and make it vintageized, which is the word I've kind of coined. I know it's probably not actually a real word, but I do love um, the look of vintage and I just like the word vintage eye. Next, it's very simple. Just glue your papers on after you're ready. And I just put the glue on the back of my page. I kind of move the paper around a little bit to make sure that the glue is all the way around the page. Um, I kind of just do that little shift and rub it in. 
and no one will even know that it was junk mail envelopes. All right, before we do the inside panels, I have a closure I want to use to close my, um, to be my closure for my journal. So I'm gonna glue it on the inside. And um, to determine how much paper it would be, is you just have to determine how far, how much width you wanna have with your papers, and then where you want this to close at. And so I'm just gonna go about here. And this paper is, let me tell you, this is a two and a half by six inch piece. And I'm gonna come in about four inches and glue that down. So about right there, get my glue. And so I'm just gonna glue this down right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to line this up pretty well with, um, to be straight. So you can kind of see where that's going to go. And then I'm going to take my papers and it doesn't matter, um, depending on your design. So let's just use this one. And I may have to trim it a bit because the inside is going to be a little bit, you can see the inside is going to be a little bit you can, about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna trim it about an eighth of an inch. So trimming it for this edge, about an eighth of an inch, because you have to allow for your uh, binding here. So I'm just gonna glue this down real quick. And I do put enough glue, I want to get all the edges. And then again, remember I do that highly technical thing of mushing it around to make sure that it has glue everywhere. There we go. And then my closure here is going to, um, I wanna make sure I have enough glue in there. Yeah. All right. So, yep. Just wanna make sure you have enough glue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on the front panel. All right. Now for my closure here, you can see just holding it and bending it enough is enough to kind of give it that rounded um, edge. But if you need to, you can take like a pencil or something and just kind of work that to where it'll bend. All right, so now in the center, you can see I'm gonna have a spine here, and on the back, I need to put my, uh, my spine cover there. So I'm gonna take my paper, and I wanna make sure that this is a good size. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bigger than I planned, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with this size. Remember, it was four inches by the nine and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and give it this vintageized look around the edges because the rest of the cover looks the same. Now, if you wanna put a, um, you know, like a frame on the front for a title or something like that, just consider the weight because if it's too heavy, um, this is just an envelope journal and it doesn't have the chipboard in it. All right, so I'm gonna take my, my paper here and I'm just gonna fold it in half so I have my line and I don't really need to burnish it so much. I just want to get a good idea where that middle is. And then I want to glue it, but I wanna make sure it glues well open as well as when it's closed. So you kind of have to work with it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna glue one side first. And just remember that um, when you're doing this, you are going to be adding pages in the middle. So you're gonna be adding some thickness. Now you could make this um, thinner if you want it thinner, maybe um, an inch or a half an inch. So now I'm gonna fold this, and when I fold it, then it's gonna give me my 
space that I need for my um, pages to be sewed in. And it almost is like a collage, right? For masterboard. All right, so we're almost finished. Now in here, of course, this is showing my envelope, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pages. So I've got coffee dyed paper here. I've got some notebook paper. I've got some, uh, you know, I've even got a doily. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these. I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. And you could add whatever you wanted. You could even add your regular, um, I don't know, uh, any kind of scrapbook page or anything if you wanted to. But we're gonna just make this simple. I'm gonna fold them in half. And this is gonna be my signature. Now, if I want to, I could add this doily in here to be a part of that signature. But I think it might be a little fragile, but it would look cute. Anyway, okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to sew that in, and I'm going to take some paper clips and hold this together. And then I'm going to see where this fits in here and where I want to sew it in. Now, the other thing that I thought about doing is taking another piece to sew in, to glue in the center as additional stability. And I think I am gonna do that because I can tell that this is gonna be a little thin. So I'm gonna fold this. I'm gonna do the same thing with this sheet here I'm going to give it that distressed or vintage look with my uh, brown ink here. Gonna go around the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then decorating, I'm not gonna do tonight, but if you want to decorate your pages, um, then once you get your book put together, you can easily do that. Add pockets, add ephemera. So I've just folded this in half like I did the other one, and then I'm gonna fold it back on itself. Why am I doing that? Because this is gonna go in the center here. So what I wanna do first is I want to glue this down on one end, and then I want to glue the other side. So we're gonna do one side at a time and find out where that sweet part is for that fold. Okay. A lot of playing with the paper to make sure that it fits right. But that's okay. So now I'm gonna glue this other side. Make sure you go all the way and then fold it in and then you can see where it goes. All right, so I think that's gonna provide the stability that I need and then it covers that inside as well. So you can't even tell that this is from junk mail envelopes. All right, so now I've got my coffee dyed paper. I'm just gonna put this one signature in here. Um, I can see that it doesn't fit all the way to the ends, but that is completely fine with me. So I'm going to take my paper clips, grab that paper clip here. Okay, so take your papers. You wanna make sure that, now this is a really small signature of just coffee dyed or stained papers, and it's about five sheets. But again, this is a junk mail uh, envelope, junk journal. Just one signature is going in here, and it's gonna be four, eight, uh, five pages. All right, so what I like to do for any junk journal, really, for any signature I'm gonna fold, um, sew in, is I take a piece of graph tape paper, I usually cut it about the size of the binding, and then I fold it in half, and I'm just gonna do it one time for this one, and that's gonna show me where my center uh, line is, right? So then if I want to know where the center of my book is, then whenever I fold it in half this way, then I know that my center is right there. So I'll do it with a kind of a dark pen so you can see 
is right here, okay? Then for the top, uh, for uh, we're gonna do just a quick pamphlet stitch. I can see where my next sew point is gonna be, right there. And then I fold this one up and my next place to sew, I'm gonna put it here. So then I have my three places where I'm going to sew my signature in. Here we go. So what I need to do, and I'm gonna hold this here with a paper clip as well so that it doesn't move. And I kind of folded the journal a little bit because I wanna make sure that I'm getting that in the center of the binding. Now I could just look at it and say, oh yeah, that's where I want it. But I wanna make sure it's going in the right place. Have an old book here that I like to poke the holes with and I just use an awl. You could use maybe even a thumbtack if you want or um, something else to poke a hole or ice pick if you have an old ice pick. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this kind of folded and I'm just gonna go through that. Hopefully that's right in my binding where I want it. Right there. And then this one is here. So I'm gonna poke that through. And it pokes through pretty easily because this is not very thick and it's not chipboard. So you can see. All right, so I've got that done. And I can see my holes now here to line up where I sew my signatures. Okay, so now I need to poke the holes here as well. So I'm gonna put my paper clips on here. I'm just gonna fold it. Sometimes it's just easier for me. It's not always easy to show this um, just because it's a lot of folding and bending and lots of hands. <laughs> All right, so I want these in the middle, right? Where that is gonna be. So I'm just gonna poke that middle one in and it's gonna just come straight through. And I'm gonna do that with this one. And the reason that I'm kind of holding it sideways, I wanna make sure I get that right in that middle crease. All right, so I'm gonna take this off now. I can save this for something else. And I'm gonna get my thread. Now, one thing that I do like to use, you can use embroidery floss whatever, but I like using this waxed um, thread. I get it from Amazon. You can buy it from different places. I do have some in my Amazon uh, store um, with small commission if, if you go there and look. But anyway, I usually do three times at least of how far it will be. And then I give myself like another one. So it's really four times, but I like to make sure I have enough thread. Now this is gonna be just a simple pamphlet stitch. It's plenty strong for this um, journal. And I use a really long needle, a decorative needle, a decorator's needle. Right, this next part is a little bit uh, tight for the camera, but I'm gonna try to show you. You go through the middle with your needle and thread through this hole. Make sure it's still lined up there. And then you're gonna go through this middle hole here in your journal, just like that. I'm gonna pull that through. Now, I, like many other um, journal junk journal makers, don't want to tie that into a knot, so I take a little washi tape and hold that down so that I can pull it tight now. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is gonna go, let's see. We're gonna go, let's go to the top. So I'm gonna go through this hole at the top and line up my papers here with my needle. I'm going left-handed here. <laughs> All right, and then I pull that through. Now, one thing that you want to do is pull it pretty tight. So you want a tight pamphlet stitch here. Can you see that? Okay. Then you're gonna pull it down to the bottom. You're gonna go through this bottom hole. And then you're gonna go through that hole there in your journal and pull it. This works for any junk journals, okay? So you wanna make sure you're pulling that tight. 
and then you're going to go right back through this hole that you came out of before in the center and you just have to get it through that same hole right so you can see right here where we're pulling it right back through that same hole now i want my thread on the other side of this long thread and i do want to pull it tight so i want to make sure it's tight here i want this thread tight as well pull that Make sure I've got some tight threads. It seems like it's loose. There we go, some tight threads there. Now I'm gonna cut this piece here and take my washi tape off. Now, my threads are on either side of that middle uh, line, that middle thread. And I'm gonna tie this in a knot around that real good and tight and I'm going to do it a second time. You really don't need to do it any more than that. Two times is plenty. And then I like to let these dangle. They can be short or long, however you like, but then you've got your pamphlet stitch in your spine here. Let's see. There we go. It's pretty simple. Then you have your journal put together. Now the only thing left that I want to do is put, fix my closure. Now what I wanna do is sew a button on here on the outside, but on the underside, I'm gonna put a um, Velcro um, to stick here. To sew my button on, I've got this nice big button, I love it. So I'm just gonna go down through that hole so that I have a thread to tie to. I'm gonna hold that thread there. Then I'm gonna come up. Let's see, I hope you can see that. I'm gonna come up. All right, so there's that one. And then I'm going to tie this off. Now, if you want um, to tie, to go through all four holes, you can do that. I think I'm just gonna leave this for now for you guys. So the other thing that I want to do is take some Velcro. So this is just what I have. So I'm gonna take the teeth and hold it onto the other side. And I'm just gonna put it underneath here so it's gonna look like the button is actually holding it, but it's really gonna be actually the, oh, let me tighten that up. It's really gonna actually be the Velcro. So there you have it, a junk journal made with junk mail envelopes. Um, well, it's really easy to see here and put together, and you can't even really tell. Now it can be totally decorated. I haven't decorated or anything. You could put lace, you could just decorate it all up, put some pockets. You could even stamp your pages, but I just love how it turns out and the papers just make it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great time making your own uh, junk mail envelope junk journals and have a great day. Thanks for watching.